the attic, jumped out of the right-hand attic window. <laughs> you got to hear this. You have got it makes my my chest. Let the light embrace you. Let the light envelop you. Run to the light. Thank you, guys. Hi. Welcome to the Logan Mansion. Thank you. I'm Joey. Massey. This is Massey. I'm Gabriel. Gabriel. And this is Sean. Hey. Shana. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm glad you guys are here. Well, thanks. Nice little place you got. Well, we really like it. Thank you. Nice woodwork, too. Yeah, that's the neat thing about this house. All the woodwork is 114 years old, never been painted, never been altered. It's pristine, exactly as it was the day it was built. Wow. Can you show us inside? Sure. Come on in. Let me tell you a little bit about the house. It was originally built in 1897 by Lafayette Logan. He was a very wealthy beer and ice distributor. Is, is there actually beer in the house right now? No, just our own personal beer. This is the dining room. This is the largest room in the house. We have lots of wonderful woodwork here again that has not been touched or marred in any way. In Victorian times, this is where you wined and dined your family. You spend a lot of your time in the dining room. We have the original fireplace mantle. Hey, Vic, hey Vicky, mm -hmm. that's, it's truly magnificent, really. But can we get to the reason that you contacted us on the phone? The hauntings. Yeah. Okay, how about if we go upstairs and I'll just show you. Sure. Awkward. This is the room where Theodora has been seen twice. Theodora is a little girl that committed suicide here in 1904. She went to the attic, jumped out of the right-hand attic window. She's been seen twice in this window, which is directly below where she went out the window. She was seen in 1972 by a psychic that was across the street. Then in 1984, someone who had no knowledge of any ghost legend saw a little girl also in the same window. Uh, several months ago, I met a couple here for a tour. I got home later than normal. They got here before me, and as they came back around the second time, they saw people in these windows here. And there was no one else in the house but those two people and I. You haven't seen her since, right? Right. Can you show us the attic and the window sure. where she? We'll go up to the attic where she went out. OK, you guys wait here. I'll get the lights. OK. What is it? What happened? Is that the window? No, she went out the window over here. It is over there. She is not alone. What? What did you just say? She's not alone. You know, those are the original windows. I hadn't thought about that. Those are the original windows. Where is Theodora buried? She's buried up on Stoner Avenue at the historical cemetery. Shonda, are you all right? This is the window where Theodora fell or jumped to her death in 1904. I had forgotten these aren't the original windows, but this is where she went out the window. She wasn't alone. Guys, I'm gonna need a few minutes up here alone if that's okay with you guys. Yeah, okay. Do your thing here, and then uh, guys, let's go downstairs, get set up, and then we'll, uh, we'll get back with you. Or just come on down when you're through. gonna need more. Theodora, I am your friend, and I promise you that you will not be hurt. Shh. 
Show me yourself, please. I need to go to the place where you're buried and bring you back to rest. Show me who was with you. God, I'm hungry. Is that your gum? No! So what do you guys think? Here's what I think. The property owner says uh, Theodora is mischievous, hiding her checkbook, her keys, locking her out of the house, playing games. Does that sound like something that a depressed, suicidal, disembodied spirit would do? I don't think so. I'm also not necessarily buying it was a suicide. I mean, this was an 11-year-old girl who was supposedly ill. How does she have the strength, number one, to even move the window? And the other thing is, I've had a feeling since I walked into this house that there's been more than one spirit. I disagree. If my name is Theodora, I'm jumping out that window. You know, the heat of May, did she fall? Is she playing in the attic? Maybe she was stuck. I mean, we're talking probably so over 100 right. degrees, an 11-year-old girl. Suicidal? I'm with Shonda. No. So you're thinking she was pushed? There was some help there. But in all honesty, she doesn't really want us to figure out exactly what happened. She just wants to know if she's here. Mm-hmm. That's true. So. All right, well, you want to figure it out? I'm scared of the world. Yeah. Let's find Theodora. All right. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, got your back. Got your back. Got your back. Yeah. Got your back. Got your back. Got your back. Hey, got your back. Got your back. Got your back. Come on, Massey, where is it? Where's what? You know what? No, I don't. What? My IR cable adapter. Where is it? Why would I know that? I don't know what that is. Well, why do you look so guilty? Is that your gum? No! Yeah. Um, I don't know, I've read some, I don't know, interesting stories on here. Apparently there was another girl who was the daughter of a teacher from the boarding house mm -hmm. who also jumped out or fell out of the window. This house? This house, 50 years later. I mean, two girls. You know, I've always sensed there's more than one spirit here, so perhaps this girl is just the second one, but I don't know. Maybe you can talk to Vicky and find something out for me. Yeah. All right, sounds good. Take care of that. Vicki, Shonda brought something to my attention. We're coming up with some inconsistencies with your story. We've got a death in 1904, we've got a death in 1921. Yeah, this evidently seems to be a popular house to jump out of. Well, Theodora did jump out of the window in 1904. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But can you prove it? Well, we have the actual newspaper articles from when she died. There have been well, uh, many you know poems what? written about her. We're, I'm not worried about the poems right now, but we're going to need to see those articles if you have them. I have them in the file. Fabulous. I'll be glad to get them for you. Great. Can you do that? Sure. Did you find your toy? Yeah, I did, man, but now my voice recorder's gone. Massey. What's up with the teacup, man? This is an 11 year old girl we're tracking, correct? Right. Okay, what do 11 year old girls like to do? Go to the beach. No, oh, dude. They love tea parties. See, I thought about that. I was like, how can I help? How can I contribute to, you know, to tracking this ghost in this house or bringing her to us? Why not have a tea party or bring her to us? Mm -hmm. And then I thought about Shonda, you know, why does she get to be the psychic one? I mean, it's, it's like she's always the psychic one. Yeah, Shonda has a degree, man. In fact, Shonda has three degrees. In what? Uh, communications, marketing, and Spanish. Marketing's pretty good. I just realized something. What's that? You might be sitting on Theodora. Get straight to that. Here. My name is Shonda, and my boobies are psychic. My name is Shonda and I have three degrees and I'm a lot smarter than you because I'm psychic. I already knew that because my boobies told me. Right, guys? 
And I have beautiful hair. And I'm a lot better than you. Look at my Shonda weave. Ooh. My name's Shonda. <laughs> my name's Shonda. My name's Shonda. My name is Shonda. I like tea bags. <laughs> there it is. Oh. Huh. Hey. You didn't fix your tea. Is that? Got it. Okay. Let's have a look. This is the email from the historical researcher. Okay, I don't know where it is. This marks her funeral at St. Mark's, explains all about it. Wait a minute, Vicki, this is a good wife's guide. Yes, but there's a reference to Theodora in there. You just have to read it. Yeah, Vicki, there's no need to get chippy. We're just trying to get to the bottom of this. Right. Oh, we have another funeral notice if Theodora's body was brought to St. Mark's Church. Uh -huh. I'll tell you what, you know what, I'll tell you what, let me just, why don't I just take this All right. and uh, digest it, and then uh, we'll let you know if we need anything else. Okay. All right, thanks. Hey, you Shut gotta up. hear no, this. Listen. You have got to hear this. It ma makes my, my chest heavy. Goosebumps. Sure, where? Um, I'd like to go to the cemetery. Theodora's headstone is there. Oh, that's a great idea. Right. You want someone to go with you? Well, yeah, that'd be great. Cool, man. Hey, you want to go to the cemetery with her? You really think it'll help? Yeah. Never mind, I got it. What? I got stuff to do. I hate cemeteries. Theodora? There you are. Theodora. I am going to take something back. It must be nice sitting next to your sister, but clearly we know who was liked better. Don't you worry, we'll be seeing each other again. All right, there's the, uh, there's the window. Let's ask a question over here, and then I will stop it, and we'll listen to it, okay? Okay. Okay. Hi, Theodora. We're not going to harm you. Please talk to us. I don't know. I, How does Shonda do it? Um, Shonda is a, you know, a psychic. Shonda's a medium. I don't know women's clothing. All right, you ready? I want to hear this. Hi, Theodora. We're not going to harm you. Please talk to us. Whoa. What did you say? Not me. Oh. Shonda! Shonda! Hey, Joe. Shonda! Hey, Joe. Okay, we were just in the attic. Hey, you Shonda, gotta hear no, this. Listen. You have got to hear this. It makes my, my chest hurt. Goosebumps. Goosebumps. Listen. I'm psychic. I knew you were gonna say that. I'm the 
<clears throat> yeah. I know what we have to do. Vicky, Ghostbreakers, I'd like to thank you for coming to tonight's seance. Bear with me while I light the ceremonial candles, and as you know, spirits are drawn to light. So we will try to invoke them best we can. Or not. These are organic, of course. For this special event, we will have to hold hands. The purpose of the seance is to be able to talk to the deceased. In this case, we are trying to get Theodora to come to see us and find out if she, in fact, is the only spirit in your home. I understand that some of you may be non-believers that this can work, and that's okay, because the most important thing is that Theodora will feel comfortable with me as her channel. I ask you guys to now close your eyes and focus and just listen. I'm going to go to some place now, and that's okay. Don't be scared. Um... Oh no. Really, Grandma? Yes, I know I need to be in the kitchen more. Get it? Grandma, I'm gonna need to. <laughs> Sorry, Grandma loves to interrupt. I'm gonna need her to step away for a second. Please refocus your energy towards the candles. I'm on that no carb diet. Let the light embrace you. Let the light envelop you. Run to the light. Um. We have four men and five girls. We also have a dog. A cute little puppy. Maybe it was Theodora's. One doesn't know. There she is. She's about four and a half feet tall. She has shoulder length, kind of dirty blonde hair. Crystal blue eyes. She's very playful. In fact, she's playing leapfrog with some other people. Does she speak English? She does speak English, absolutely. She wants you to know that she likes to move stuff in your house. Mm -hmm. And she's mm -hmm. laughing as if she's doing it out of playfulness and fun. Um. Um. Yeah, she wants you to know that it has been her that she's been in the house. But she hasn't been alone. She won't tell me who it is. I'm telling her now that it's okay for her to go towards the light. She didn't know that this isn't her final resting place. So I'm explaining to her that this is not her final resting place, and so I'm urging her to go on to the light. Theodora. It is time for you to head towards the light. I'm here to help you head towards the light. Theodora, go towards the light. It's okay, honey. You can go. Run. Run like you've never run before. Let the light embrace you. Let the light envelop you. Run to the light. Run, 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 run. She's gone. Oh, hell. 
Oh, no, no, no. No, no, she's in heaven. I didn't send her to hell. No, she's no. a good girl. I didn't want her to go. What do you mean you didn't We want just her to wanted go? to know she was here. We want her here. No, you have to bring her back. Oh, we gotta look at the contract. That's not what you said. We, no. We, we know, you guys, do you remember her saying that she didn't want her to go? I mean, yeah, everybody comes to see Theodora at the Logan Mansion. How's that? Uh, Bad breaker. Yeah. You've ruined the Logan Mansion. Well, Vicki, I think we learned an awful lot here. And, and it's important for us that you know that we mean well. But if you can't figure out what just happened, we can't tell you that's something that you're gonna have to figure out on your own. Because it's not the destination. It's the journey. So we're gonna go ahead and- Yeah, you need to go. Good job, Malaya, thank you. <clears throat> you. Fixed your breaker. Uh. Now, because of this little misunderstanding, you know, I, I just, we're gonna go ahead and bump you to net 30. Best wishes. Vicki, thanks so much. And I just want you to know that the Ghost Breakers give you our 100% guarantee that this property is 99% paranormal certified. 99%? Yeah, margin for error. But it's certified, man. It's certified. Go. Good luck to you. Come on, guys. Namaste. Good night. Good night. Thanks again.